if we were going to have a successful theory of consciousness, it was going to have to be counterintuitive. Hard to believe at first because our intuitions tell us so strongly facts, facts about our minds that just aren't facts, they aren't true. And I think the most potent and seductive is the idea that inside our heads, somewhere, there is a sort of show going on. Uh, colors and shapes, and sounds and itches and tingles are happening in a special, private, subjective arena. And we are the audience. Each of us is the audience for that set of apparitions, appearances, representations. I call that place the Cartesian theater. Uh, it's the mind as Descartes conceived of it in the 17th century. There's no such place. It seems to stand to reason. There has to be, look, I can close my eyes and there I am, I'm in that place. Well, you think you are, that's what you think's going on. Here's what's really going on, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's more, there's more. You're leaving something important out. And it's this hunch that there's something more beyond the spike trains and the coordinating activity of the nervous system. There's gotta be this extra wonderful layer that makes life worth living. That intuition is almost universal and very potent and simply wrong. And so a large part of my work is engaged in trying to show people to their initial amazement and disbelief that they're actually wrong about that. I think the reason that people succumb to this illusion is they stop one step too early. They think about consciousness and they imagine all oh, events in the brain leading up, leading up, leading up, and then ta-da, there's consciousness happening in their head. They say, wow, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? And they stop the process right there. And they don't ask the next question, what I call the hard question, and then what happens? Well, and then what happens? What happens, of course, is what I started to say. They respond, they think, wow, wow, and then they, they start cataloging whatever it is that's in consciousness, and I've got this thought, that feeling, and a little itch in my toe, and, and they think about it, and maybe they talk about it, and it lays down traces in memory. Well, they should start taking seriously all the stuff that happens next or that can happen next that can follow from their being conscious of X or Y or Z. Once you've got that catalog and you've really done a good job of getting that catalog, ask yourself whether, and isn't that what being conscious is? Being, responding in all these ways. Why do you suppose there's this extra uh, mysterious thing that's at the nexus that is the cause of this? It's a very powerful feeling, but it's, I argue, it's just a mistake. The cause of all your reactions, your emotional reactions, your memories, are just more spike train combinations in your nervous system that you're adding one cause to many by putting in the quale, the internal subjective mysterious whatchamacallit, isn't actually doing any work. So just divide through, let it, let it go. And then, then you've got a good theory.